Today's Gospel, Saturday, August 6, is taken from St. Luke chapter 9, verses 28 to 36. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up the mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They fell silent and did not at that time tell anyone what they had seen. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Sister Pebbles Puyat. Reward of being a disciple of Christ Transfiguration says something about discipleship. What is discipleship? It is our way of following Jesus. It is learning more about Jesus. It is a conversion of heart. It is our way of life. When we became a disciple of Christ, radical changes happen in our life. Transfiguration can also be about transformation. Transform from glow to glory. It defines a dramatic change in appearance. Transfiguration is also about transcendence. It is to go beyond normal limits, transcend from ordinary to extraordinary. This happens when we are faithful to our calling day in and day out, faithful to the promise we made at our baptism to renounce sin and live lives that are directed by the Holy Spirit. Live a holy life transfigured. And just like Jesus, after he transfigured, he went back to his ministry of healing and restoring people back to the Father and making the Father known. Being his disciple, we have to do the same. What is the reward? The blessing for us, his disciples, is immeasurable limitless greatness of God to be seen in us. The scripture says, God will make rivers in the desert. He'll make streams in the barren places. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help me to transform and transcend that you may be seen in me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.